Hello and welcome to a new colouring video. Today I've been sent this absolutely beautiful new colouring book by Kirby Roseland's called Fragile World. It's a pre-release copy um, which I'm absolutely delighted about. It's not often I get anything like this and it's available for pre-order because it isn't actually released until March I think um, but I'll put the pre-order links down below in the item description so I'm going to do a quick flip through it's absolutely divine I think it's probably one of his best books if not his best um, I haven't looked at all the pictures just the about the first half of the book and and then I'm going to colour one of the pictures because I've just absolutely fell in love with it it's gorgeous so this is the cover and you can see it's got this beautiful turtle on the front um, and then lots of corals and fish and jellyfish and the picture is actually glossy so it's really really nice on the back is a lovely colourful tiger and some butterflies so this is the opening page and we've got this cute little turtle looks like it's emerging from its shell in the sand and then we've got the first double page where you put your name and it's just absolutely gorgeous with all these beautiful exotic flowers. I remember drawing some of these when I was doing Inktober a couple of years ago. I can remember, I don't remember the names of them now, but they were like, I think they were poisonous or there was this they were creepy or something. Um, and I remember attempting to draw one of these and one of these. Okay, so that's the opening double page and then there's more title pages with just absolutely beautiful design around them and then we've got the first picture so they're all endangered species in this one so the first picture is a snow leopard I think yeah and you've got this section at the back which tells you about the animals I kept having to refer to the back because some of them I didn't know the name of. So it tell, obviously tells you the name of the animal and then and they all seem to be different levels of endangered, like there's vulnerable, endangered, um, critically endangered, um, near threatened. So they're all at different levels of possibly becoming extinct. So you've got your name, how vulnerable it is, and then it tells you more about the animal. So, and every picture is absolutely beautiful. So the very first picture is this double page spread of the snow leopard. So I've counted 56 different animals in this book. So it just shows how many animals are endangered and I don't know if that's all of them there could be more um, but isn't this just such a brilliant way of bringing it to people's attention so the next one is the New Zealand lesser short-tailed bat which is just so cute I absolutely love bats and then the mountain gorilla and just look at the picture every single picture is just really really gorgeous he's such an amazing artist then there's the southern rock hopper penguins and lemur 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 leaf frogs cute and then we've got ring-tailed lemurs I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Then we've got Sega Antelope. That is so nice. I love antelopes. And polar bears. What an absolutely gorgeous picture that is. Then we've got chimpanzees, which I did not know they were endangered. And that's a lovely, great big double page spread. American Bison, which I absolutely adore. I think I really want to colour these. I love how he's got the all the flowers 
grown off the top, it's so nice. I've always wanted to attempt drawing one of these, but I've never got round to it. Then we've got Queen Alexandra's Birdwing Butterfly. Just stunning. Every single picture is an absolute masterpiece. And then Rusty Patched Bumblebees. Great White Shark, which is double page spread. Mandrill, mandrills and the Philippine Eagle. Humphead Rosses and Black Footed Ferrets. So cute. Giant Pandas. The common hippopotamus and the Philippine naked backed fruit bat. Jaguar. The whooping cranes. They're so nice. Asian elephant. That is just such a beautiful picture, that elephant. And and forest owlets. Oh, they're so cute. Right, I don't know how to pronounce this. Gar Gariel Gariels or something. Ganals. I would have thought it was a crocodile. Yeah, it's Gariel Gariels. And it's a type of Asian crocodilian, it says. That is gorgeous, that picture, absolutely gorgeous. We've got um, Galapagos sea lions. Sumatran tiger and black rhinoceros. Thick-billed parrots and hawksbill turtles. Thick-billed parrots and hawksbill turtles, which is obviously the one that's on the cover. Whale sharks, Ethiopian wolves, and this is Axolit. Another one, not sure how to pronounce, but it's Axolitis. So it must be the really cute. Like, looks like it's some kind of underwater creature. It just looks like a fish with legs. How strange! Never seen them before. And Tapanuli orangutans and koalas, blue whales, amu, amu leopard and red pandas. Then we've got adaxes, dugongs. I could be pronouncing some of these wrong, but I'm just doing the best I can. Greatest sage grouse. American burying beetles. That's quite nice. That's a lovely picture. Even if it is beetles, it's still a, just such a lovely picture. And then we've got sea otters. How adorable. African wild dogs. Actually look like hyenas, don't they? Marine iguanas. Kangaroo Island Donut. <laughs> I'm so cute. <laughs> right, just adore this picture here. European hamster. Oh, so cute. I might colour this one. <laughs> Chinese pangolins. It's either narwhals or narwhals. Polynesian ground doves. And European eels. Cape Rock Jumpers, Hector's Dolphins, Hooded Grebes, Tasmanian Devils, oh my god they're so cute. And the last one is Galapagos Penguins, oh, didn't know that they were endangered either. Yeah, and then that's all the information that I showed you earlier. 
What an absolutely beautiful colouring book. Yeah, thank you so much to the publisher for sending me this. I'm gonna now colour. I think I'm gonna go for the little hamster. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one. It's so nice. So I'm gonna paint it in watercolour and I'm priming the page first with the Satin Glazing Liquid by Golden. So I apply two layers of this, making sure each layer is perfectly dry before I put the second layer on. And this just stops the watercolour seeping through the page and it stops a lot of the wrinkling as well. It does um, kind of still warp a little bit, but not as bad as it would. Um, yeah, it just makes the page take the watercolour paint so much better. And then I just make sure it's absolutely perfectly dry before I paint on it. In fact, I actually do this the day before I'm going to use it. Then I know that it's absolutely bone dry. These are the paints I'm using. They're Art Philosophy by Prima and it's the Woodland set that I'm using. So I've just got these for Christmas. So I'm... Um, eager to try them out. It's quite a muted palette, but the picture does end up being really, really colourful, even though this is quite a muted palette. That foxberry at the top is actually very, very pink. It looks like a rusty colour on the swatch card, but if you notice when I paint the ears of the hamster, it's actually very pink when you use it watered down. And it's a beautiful colour, I absolutely love it.
up high There's an angel in the sky The glitter and the shine She must be divine What a night, what a sight Ring the bells loud and clear have the reindeers reappear take my hand you promised land here we go i have wished upon a star i've sent my wishes far to get you in every way I had given up hope when the snow started falling but then I knew it was you around midnight way up high there's an angel every night take my hand you promise land here we go Send my wishes far to get you in every way. I had given up hope when the snow started falling, but then I knew it was you around midnight, way up high. There's an angel every night. Take my hand, you promised land. Here. 